Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another lesson in pre-algebra, unit four, lesson 10. Today is today. The main idea, percent equation, notes. The percent equation is a quick way to find a part of a whole quantity by multiplying the whole by the percent, written as a decimal. Okay, so part equals whole times percent, written as a decimal. Okay, so that is the, those are the short little bit of notes that we're going to use today. And I will start the examples now. Okay, so reminder, to convert a percent to a decimal, divide the percent by 100 or move the decimal to the left two places, okay? I usually just say that. You're dividing by 100, which would move the decimal to the left two places. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And right here, it says find 12%. Well, 12% move the decimal two places to the left as a decimal would be 0.12. Okay, so that's the part. Find 12% of 90. 90 is the whole. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to multiply the whole 90 by the percent. Okay, whole times percent will equal the part and as a decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.12 times 90. Okay, and that's going to equal, how about I do it this way? I'm going to, there we go, that's even better. And we'll leave the calculator there all the time. So 0.12 times 90 is 10.8, okay? Find 12% of 90, 12% of 90 is 10.8, okay? Next one, find 96%. First thing we do is move that to a decimal, 0.96 of 175. So it's going to be 0 0.96 times 175, and that is going to equal 0 0.96 times 175, enter, is 168. Number three, what is 27%? 1, 2, 0.27 times 28. 0.27 times 28 is 7.56. Remove the decimal to, okay. I thought it said something about rounding, but it did not. It is 7.56. Um, number four, 48.5%, one, two, point four, eight, five times 300. Point four, not seven, four, eight, five times three, zero, zero, enter. 145.5. Okay, hopefully this is pretty easy to you. 2%, be careful. One, two, I need 0. 0. 0.02. That's the biggest, uh, not biggest, but the most common mistake. A whole number moving at only one decimal place is saying 2% is 0. 0.2. 0. 0.2 is 20%. Okay, so it's 0 0.02 times 138, and that will give me a total of 276, or a product of 2, what are you doing, what is that, uh, 2.76, okay, so 0 0.02 times 138, 2% of 138 is 200, or 2.76, okay, number 6, 881.25% of 248, so move the decimal two places, that is going to be 0. 0.8125 times 248 equals, let me go over my calculator, 0. 0.8125 times 248, enter, 
201.5. Okay, hopefully this is pretty simple to you. Let's move these up to here and let's continue. Kate spent 23%. Actually, I like highlighting these. Uh, get my highlighter out. Highlighter. Um, Kate spent 23% of her last paycheck on groceries. She made $908. How much did she spend on? She If she made $908, she spent 23% of her last paycheck and she made 908. Okay, so 23% as a decimal is 0.23. We wanna know what 23% of $908 is. She, made, she spent 23% of her check on food or groceries. 23 times 908, and that is $208.84. Since it's money, put the dollar sign, and there we go. Um, let's move back to my highlighter. Mark has to, has only used 8.5% of 34 ounces bottle of shampoo. How many ounces has he used? Okay, zero. 0 0.085, two decimals to the left, times 34, 0 0.085 times 34 is, Mark has only used 8.5% of 3 point, how many ounces has he used? Okay, 2.89 ounces, yeah, that's right, not quite 3 ounces. Okay, he's used 2.89 ounces. All right, get my highlighter. Whoops, highlighter. There were 80 golfers in the first round of a tournament of the, so there's 80 golfers in the first round of a tournament. Of the 80, 62.5% qualified for the next round. Okay, 62.5% qualified for the next round. How many did not? qualify. So you have to be careful with the wording here. Uh, we're going to have to subtract when we get our answer. So there's two ways we can do this, but I'm just going to do it directly like they showed. So it's going to be 0.625. Step one, move the decimal two places. We're looking for 62.5% of 80, which is 0.625 times 80. And that is 50. Okay. Well, that's um, 80 golfers first round tournament of the 80 62 and a half qualified so of the 80 50 qualified how many did not 80 minus the 50 equals the ones who did not qualify so it was 30 golfers 30 golfers did not qualify okay number 10 get my highlighter tom is a lawyer who makes 132 per year if it if his legal assistant, Alec, makes 53% of his salary, find Alec's salary, okay? So it is 0.53 times 13200, 0.53 times 132000. Enter, and um, Alec made... $69,960. Okay. So the lawyer made 132 grand and his assistant made 69,960. That's 53% of the lawyer's salary. Okay. So hopefully that's pretty simple and straightforward for you. Okay. So this lesson has two sections in it. That first one was pretty simple. So I decided to just do both this today. And because it's really you know, fairly quick and easy. Um, so this one is discount and markup. Okay, so notes are stores frequently discount or markup items. Okay, so they're talking about stores that sell products. Sometimes they discount them, sometimes they mark them up. Okay, inflation. Discounts are subtracted. from the original price and markups are added to the original price. The selling price 
or the sale price is the amount the customer ends up paying. So if it's a discount, we subtract. If it's a markup, we add. So directions, find the discount and markup for each, then find the final selling price. Round to the nearest cent when necessary. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that. Do not leave it one decimal place. Cent is two decimal places, <clears throat> okay? All right, so we have a pair of jeans, they're $58, 15% off. Okay, so what we wanna do is take the price of the jeans and multiply it by the percent as a decimal. So move it two places to the left, okay? And we're going to get 58 times 0.15 is 870, okay? So 15% off 58 is a discount of $8.70. The selling price is then going to be the original $58 minus $8.70. So it's $49. Oops, I almost put an eight. It is. $49.30. The selling price of the jeans, 15% off, is $49.30. Now, there is a way to do this one step. So if they're discounting 15%, you're paying 85%. So if you can figure that out first, so I'm going to show you if I did 58 times 0.85, okay, oops, I didn't need that. 58 times 85, because 85% is what you're paying. If they discounted at 15%, you still have to pay for 85. So 58 times 0.85 should give me 49.3, and there it is, 49.30, okay? So that's just a easier way to do these. So here we have a tablet, $492, and we're gonna take 20% off. So that is going to be 0.2, 20%, move it two decimal places to the left is 0 0.20 or 0.2 times 492. Well, that's just doubling this. So there's going to be a zero. And two times two is four. Nine times two is 18, carry the one. And that's going to be nine. So 20% of 492 is $98.40. So then when I take $492 and I subtract 98.40, why did I write an eight? I don't know, good question. Uh, this is a nine. Subtract 98.40. Zero minus zero, six minus four. Now I need to borrow here. Four, three, eight, nine. 394.20. Okay, and as I was saying before, if I show it in my calculator, and since we're getting a 20% off, we're paying 80. So I could have just done 492 times 0.8, and that would have given me 393.60. Okay. Oh, what did I do wrong? 492 times 80 is 393.60. Did I subtract incorrectly? That's a good way to check it, I guess. Okay. So, or did I do my calculation wrong? So 20.2 times 492 is 9840. No, that's correct. But then when I take 492 and I subtract 9840. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I thought that was a six. Can't read my own writing. This is six here. Nine to eight, 11, that's three. Uh, four to three, nine, 393, 60 not 394.20. I thought this was a six the last time I did it. So if I go back to the calculator, it is 393.60 when I multiply by 0.8. Okay, so that's kind of a good way to check our work as we're going because mistakes can be made. All right, so let me just scroll up to here. There's a bike, $295.49, 60% off. That's a good price. You should buy it. So that's going to be 0.6 times 295.49. Point 0.6 times 295.49 is 
177.29. Round to the nearest penny. Four is less than five. Round down. This will be 177.29. That's how much we're taking off the price of the bike. The bike was 295.49. Off means to subtract. Nine minus nine. Four minus two. I need to borrow here. 15 minus seven. Eight minus seven. Two minus one. So the discount was $177.29, and the selling price was $118.20. So if I check that, I could take 295.49, and since it's 60 off, we're paying 40%, so that's times 0.4, and that is 118.19, which rounds to 118.20 with this six. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to check it doing it the other way. Microwave, 89.99, 5% off. 0 0.05, be careful, two decimal places, 89.99 equals, okay, 89.99 times 0 0.05 is 450. This rounds to five, so the discount is four. 50. We're going to subtract that from, let's move this over. Okay, I'm going to subtract that from 89.99, and I'm going to get 9, 4, 5, 8. We're going to pay 85.49. Now, if I check that with my calculator, remember, if we had 5% off, we're paying 95%. Okay, what's off and what we're paying totals 100%. 89.99 times 0.95 should give me my selling price right in the first step. 85.49, rounding down. Okay, all righty then. Number five. Wedding dress, $625. 3%. 0 0.03 times 625 equals 625 times times 0 0.03 equals $18.75. The amount you save on the wedding dress, you could buy the ring. Okay, so the markup, oh, it's marked up 3%. So you need, need to be careful there. Uh, discount, discount. Now we're doing markup. The markup is 18.75. Okay. So 625 plus 18.75. Remember, if we are marked up, we're adding. So I got $643.75. Okay. So the wedding dress went from 625 to 643.75. So to check that, well, if it's marked up 3%, 100% of 625 is 625. 3% more would be 103%. So I could have taken 625 times 1.03 and done it in one step, 643.75. Okay. All right. So now we have a sofa, $1,490.95 marked up 40%, which is 0 0.40, or just 0 0.4, 1490.95 equals, get my calculator, 1490.95 times 0 0.4 is 596.38. Okay, that's a big markup. 1,490.95, we're adding 8 and 5 is 13, carry the 1, 9 and 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1, 6 and 1 is 7, 9 and 9 is 18, 5 and 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10, and that's going to now be 2,800, two, oops, sorry, $2,087.087. And 33 cents. The markup was $596.38. Okay, so if I check that, I could actually take 
the $1,490.95 and mark it up 140%, which would be 1.4. And I got 208733. There we go. It checks. All right. Let's scroll a little bit here. Number seven, digital camera, $250, 12% markup, 0 0.12250 equals 0.12 times 250 is $30. Um, so the markup is $30. That we can do in our head. 250 plus 30 is $280. Just to check this, you could take 250 times 112%, 1.12, and get 280, okay? Uh, cell phone, 25% markup, 0.25, equals 0.25 times 595.79, enter, and I get 148.95 when I round. I'm gonna add the 595.79 to it. Nine and five is 14, that's a seven, it's 14, that's 14, that's seven. So I got my two values. Markup was $148.95. The new price, $744.74. So I'm going to check this. I'm going to take $595.79 and multiply by 1.25. We're going to pay a 25% over 100%. And it's $744.74. It rounds up. And that's correct. Okay, next question. Our next section, sales tax and tip. Sales tax is a percentage okay, added to the selling price. So you get to the register, it's going to cost more. So it's added. Okay, So if something is $50 and there's 10% tax, $5 tax, it'd be $55 with the tax. Okay, And a tip is a percentage that we add okay, to the total bill. Okay, The end of a meal. You tip your server. Okay. So that's the next thing we're going to do on the next page. Okay. The last play, pay, page, last page, the last page of examples. Find the final price of an $849.99 laptop with a 6% sales tax. So sales tax gets added, right? So we're going to take, let me get my calculator. We're going to take um, 0.6 times 849.99 and I'm going to add that to 849.99. I don't know if I should do this or not. It might confuse you, but we're going to get the value here and we're going to add it to the total. So let's just try it. Okay. So first of all, I want to find my decimals in the wrong place. Okay. 0 0.06, not 0 0.6. So it's 0 0.06 times 849.99. And I get $50.99.94 or $51. So that would be $51 plus 849.99. And that comes out to be $900.99. Okay, next one. Find the final price of a $325 lacrosse stick with a 7.25% sales tax. So it's going to be 0 0.0725 times 325. And then we're going to add that to the $325 price. Okay, so this is going to be 0 0.0725 times 325. And that gives me $23.56. So this is going to be $23.56 plus $325. So 
So that's going to be 56 cents because there's no change over here. It's zero, zero. It's zero, zero. Six, five. Five plus three is eight. Two plus two is four and bring down the three. So the lacrosse stick with tax is $348.56. All right. Next one, number 11. A $105 watch is selling for 30% off. Find the final price if the tax is 8%. So they discount first. So you're going to do 0 0.30 times $105. I want to know what 30% of 105 is. So 105 times 0.3. And that is $31.50. Okay. So that they're taking a $105 watch. Right. And we're deducting $31.50 from the price. That's the 30% discount. So that's going to give me for $74.50. Okay, is that right? Five minus one. Oh, I had to borrow here. Four, ten. All right, so this is a three. All right, so it's $73.50. I'm going to pay 8%, which is 0 0.08. So I multiply that by 0 0.08. So 73.5 times 0 0.08 is $5.88. And I'm going to add that to 73.50. So 0 plus 8 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 5 is 9. 7 is alone. So it's just 7. So after taking a $105 watch, Discounting it 30%, it dropped it to $73.50. You're paying 8% tax on the discounted price, and the watch will cost $79.38 with discount and tax. Got it? Okay. A DVD, $125 DVD player selling for 10% off. So we're taking 10%. Try that again. We're taking 10% of $125. I'm going to do these in different colors from now on. So 10% just moves the decimal. So we're deducting $12.50 from the price. Okay. Let me put that down. And then I put that $125 here. So we're subtracting. It's a discount off 0, 4, 10, 5, 4 minus 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So I'm going to change colors now. We have a $112.50 DVD player after discount. We're going to multiply that by 5.5%, which is 0 0.055. Okay, so I'm going to get my calculator. 112.50 times 0 0.055, and I get $6.19. That's the tax. So then I add... 112.50, the discounted price of the DVD player plus tax, and the total price is $118.69. Okay. Okay, number 13. Katie, Katie bought a $76 dress at 33% off. Okay, $76 dress, 33% off. Do that first. 0.33 times 76. Get your calculator. 0.33 times 76, enter. And it's $25.08. And a $52 pair of shoes at 15% off. So that's going to be 0.15 times... 52.15 times 52. So now the shoes are $7.80, or the discount is. Okay. If the sales tax is $6.75, how much did she pay in total? So this was the discount of the dress. So we take $76 minus $25.08. And that would be a 5, 9, 10, 2, 9 minus 0, 5 minus 5, 7 minus 2. So it's $50.92 for the dress after 33% discount. 
And then we take $52, whoops, not 520. We take $52 and subtract 780 from it. And we get two, five to four, 11, that's four, 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 four $44 and 20 cents. Okay, so 50, 92 for the discounted dress, 44, 20 for the discounted shoes. So that totals $95.12. Then finally we go up to the register and we pay 0.0675% sales tax. 0.0675 times 95.12. Enter. So our tax is going to be $6.42. Okay. So actually, let me move this over because I have to add it. So let's just keep going. Whoops. Didn't go back to my pen. So two plus two is four. One plus four is five. Six plus five is 11. Carry the one. Nine plus one is 10. So the shoes after discount and the dress after discount added up, taking 6.75% and adding that to their price, we get $101.54 for the dress, shoes, and tax. Okay. All right, number 14. For parties of six or more, a restaurant adds 20% gratuity or tip, okay? No matter how bad the service is, they force you to pay a tip if there are six or more. If a diner or a dinner bill for a large party comes to 148.25, find the total dinner bill with the tip. I guess we're assuming there's six or more in our party. So let's do that. $148.25. We want to pay a 20% tip, which is 0 0.20. So I take $148.25 times 0.2 equals 29.65. That's the tip for the server. Find the total dinner bill with the tip. That would be $148.25 plus 29.65. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. This will add up to 9, 17, 7, 1. So the meal, 148.25. The tip, 29.65. Total, 177.90. Okie dokie. Number 15. Let's extend this so it's up a little higher. There. Greg and Alana went out to dinner. Their dinner bill came to $68.89. They had a $10 coupon and left a 15% tip. Okay. Well, there's two ways of looking at this. If I had a $10 coupon and it came to $68.89, I personally would have paid 15% tip on the total before the coupon. But anyway, I think this example is asking us to discount. So the bill was $68.89. Subtract a $10 coupon. We're down to $58.89. And we're going to pay this a waiter 15% of that for tip. So 58.89 times Point one five is eight dollars and eighty three cents. Add that to the total bill. Nine and three is twelve. Eight and eight is sixteen. Plus one is seventeen. Seventeen. So the total bill after the ten dollar discount and tax is seventy seven seventy two. Okay. Made a mistake. I'm not adding the tip to the total bill. We decreased it by five. 58.89 plus 8.83 is not 77.72. It's 67.72. So the coupon basically paid the tip a little bit more. 
Okay. So $67.72. Okay, that brings us to unit four's homework 10. This is a two page document. Make sure you do both pages. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day. That was easy.